This is an old stone foundation from the miner days and I patched it up and it had a lot of holes in it. It's an outside thing. I'm going to show you how I did it. Today's job we have an old stone foundation. We're going to take a little look at it right here. And as you can see, uh, it was done before and there's holes in there. You can see the holes in there. When they did these old foundations, uh, they used lime. Lime don't really hold up. Somebody did it a few times. These are all old miner houses. First thing I do is I dig down alongside of it. Get down there because I want to plaster down there a little farther. If you got some old plaster on there, just like a dentist, just get the bad stuff out of there. Like that. We're going to get the high pressure hose, wash it all off. Uh, all the dust off and then everything. Then I'm going to get two buckets of masonry sand, one half bucket of Portland, or a half a bucket of mortar, the other bucket of sand. And then I mix it up dry first. Then we add the water. I'm mixing it a little stiffer than usual because I've got some big holes to fill in there. So I'm making a little stiff. So that's about how stiff I'm going to make it for the first coat. Now I, I threw some Portland in there. See it? I'm going to mix it into a paint. Into a paint. That's what I'm doing. Now see this, it's pretty thick. I didn't make it real soupy, it made it thick. Because I gotta fill in those big spots right there. So I'll just adjust the camera right here so you can see what's going on. And then I get my uh, get my holes just to make sure it's still wet. That's a big deal making it wet. I get that glue I made up. I wanna get these big spots first. So that's my bonding agent, that glue. I want to make sure it goes in there and it sticks. And I get my cement, throw it right in there. I use playing with it, just like body work. We're going to get that all, get the big spot first. I'm going to come back later. Another day, go over it again. That's what we're doing. Now right here, right here we got a hole. So this is the first coat. Let's get it out. Get your cement, throw it in there. Shove your stone in. Whatever you want. I think you got to do this a little bit. Do that. And plaster it up. That's it. So I forgot my broom, so I'm just using a little brush. But I got all the big things filled in. It's like December 3rd, and it's not going to freeze tonight, so uh, I might come back tomorrow or the next day and put another coat on. So that's what we're doing. Now we're back the next day, and if right in here you can see some little hair cracks. Well, that's normal when you got big uh, holes to fill. So all I'm going to do is just scrape off the heavy stuff and get it ready for a second coat. No, you don't have to, but this is some fiberglass that I got from uh, the concrete company. I'm doing a real thin stucco job. I'd like to put some of that in. Now I'm going to wet it again. So I wet it down first. I get my Portland. 
I get up there and I paint the whole thing with pork. That's the, I think that's the best bonding agents. I know in Florida and other places they use a glue. Around here, I do the old school method. I think it's better. And after I get that in, I want to make sure I'm getting up there against the plate. Drain any holes. And I'm just going to go for one light course. Because me and the owner agreed to do a popcorn stucco. It saves a little time, a little money. And it looks better. Hides a lot of sins. That's what I'm doing now. I'm going right over the top of that Portland. Not worry too much about getting it flat. I just want to make sure all the holes are covered. Now, just about 15 minutes later, like I said, I'm not going to try to make a flat and sponge it with a sponge float because I'm going to stucco it. So I'm not worried about the little hits and bumps because I'm not going to sponge it. I'm just going to get my stucco brush and put some scratches in it just like that. That's going to have give me some uh, uniformity, I guess. So we waited about oh, about 40 minutes. I'm going to take the rest of this cement, put it in my little pan down there, and make a splash out of it. So I'm going to wet it down really good and make a splash out of it. And I mix it up like that. See that? Almost soupy. And then you just kind of do that. You got to kind of stop, stop, stop. In other words, you just don't keep going with it. You got to stop so the stucco falls off it. That's how you get a popcorn finish. Hides a lot of sins. So I don't know if you could see it that well, but it's done. God decided to make the sunshine today, so I'm not getting a clear, uh, real clear picture, but that's it. I'm back the next day and I brought a little extra dirt because 90% of the time people who get water in their foundations because the land goes this way instead of this way. And the rain gutters are okay so I brought her a little extra dirt and uh, that's it. Job's all done.